Hi, my name is Sia, and I'll be talking about number lines. So some key ideas that you need to think about when you're talking about number lines is that numbers to the right of the zero are higher than to the left. Um, all the numbers to the right of the zero are positive numbers, and all numbers to the left of the zero are negative numbers. A number line is just a straight line with a bunch of numbers on it that goes from negative infinity all the way up to positive infinity it just keeps going on forever and ever and you can use um, jumps to add and subtract numbers on a number line so if you're just understanding how to like do addition and subtraction um, number lines is a great way to understand how to do that and it can help you perform complex problems in the future so here is an example of what a number line looks like um, on, in the center, we have the zero. To the left of the zero are all of the negative values all the way up to negative infinity. And to the right of the zero, we have all of the positive values going up all the way up to um, positive infinity. For example, if you're thinking about a coordinate plane that has a vertical and a horizontal number line, it kind of looks like this. The center of this coordinate plane over here is 0 comma 0 and that is the origin in this case we're only looking at a horizontal number line and so the center is just a 0 um, let's say you were trying to do a, an, uh, an example problem let's say we were trying to do 3 plus 2 doing this calculation is a lot easier because we have a visual um, and so we can first go to where we see the number three, which is right here. So we know where we're going to start with our calculation. Then we're adding two to our number three. And so we're going to go up two. So we're going to go up one and another one. So we get to this value. And yeah, three plus two is equal to five. And so that makes sense. Let's say we are trying to do negative 1 minus 2. This calculation looks a little bit more difficult, just like visually, but it's pretty easy to solve with a number line. We know that we're going to <clears throat> be starting at the negative 1, so that is where we start. And then we're going to subtract negative 2 from it. So we're not going to the right now, we're going to go to the left. So we're going left two. And so we end up over here where it says negative three. And so negative one minus two is going to give you negative three. And that is how you just do simple problems on the number line. Obviously, once you get used to it, you can do like complex problems and you don't even have to use a number line anymore. So let's just do two more practice problems to uh, familiarize the concept of number lines. Here we have 2 plus 2, so we know that we're going to be starting at 2 over here on the number line, and we're adding 2, so that means we're going to be jumping to 1, 2, to get to 4. Um, and so the answer is going to be 4. Um, here we have a negative 5 plus 6. Some people like to write it as 6 minus 5, just to make it look a little bit more neat. Um, but... You don't really have to do it in this case because we're using number lines. If we did 6 minus 5, we would end up at 1. But we can also try doing it this way to make it a little bit more challenging. So let's try. So first we're going to be at negative 5. And we're going up 6. So we're adding 6. That means we're going to be moving to the right instead of the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6. And so we get at this value over here, also known as 1. So we know that it works both ways. Whether you start at 6 over here, oops, uh, whether you start at 6 over here and go back 5 to 1, or you start at negative 5 and go up 6 to 1, uh, you will get the same answer. Just make sure that you use the right signs. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.